Meanwhile, some prominent Nigerians have been reacting to the Democracy Day and the insecurity in the land. The former Chief of General Staff, General Oladipo Dia, is optimistic that Nigeria will soon pull through the challenges to become one of the most peaceful countries in the world. And the former head of the interim government, Chief Ernest Chunekon, asked those behind Boko Haram to sheath their swords and assist in developing the economy. I believe that the future will be bright if there is peace. Without peace, there can't be any progress in the country. So we needed to have peace in the country. So, and if we have to have peace, each and every one of us must have to contribute a quota towards it. So I appeal to, to everybody that they should shed their swords at the moment and let's concentrate in just growing the economy further and create jobs for the teaming population. And I'm glad that we're thinking in terms of the youth, because the youth is about 50 percent of the total population at the moment. That's a lot. So we've got to create jobs for them. We've got to make them happy. If we are able to get them to reach and every one of them to do a little bit of their contributions towards their family, this country will be a better place. It will be very, very difficult for any country to beat Nigeria. So I think this is the time for us. Let's take advantage of it. Those who are responsible for insecurity, who are they? We don't know them. Um, it's very unfortunate that we are really going through this type of uh, challenge in Nigeria. Um, but like uh, most people are saying, it will soon be uh, a thing of the past. It will be over. And uh, I pray that very soon it should be over.